Yeah, let me bro. ask you. Mm. Let me listen. Everybody in the chat, tell me for you what was the most significant uh, thing that happened uh, for the year uh, 2022. What about you, buddy? Yeah, well, quite a lot has happened, you know. Yeah, well, for you, you had personal. The most significant was the loss of my mother this year. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. You cannot get any more significant than that. For real, for real. And, uh, yeah. But, you know, you know, still processing that, really. But, yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Um, album, uh, third album. Ah, uh, yeah. Wrapping yo. up uh, a trilogy that I started a couple of years ago. Of a, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, called Manifestation. Um, being nominated, I mean, being considered for a Grammy Award. By, considered by the Grammys, yes, for a Grammy Award in the alternative music category. Competing also, next to Bjork. I mean, I, lo I, I mean, mm. I didn't get the nomination, but come on, if you like competing on, ah, alongside yeah. Bjork, you yeah. know, there's no better, you know. Uh, contender than that you know it's cool I, I won in that sense in, I feel blessed yeah. to, to be there you know did, did you uh, I believe that another thing that was significant for me personally for our 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 collaborations I, I believe that Kilulu is really our yes. first collaboration that passed a certain threshold it, it, it's it, really it is, like it's, it's a song that Everything yeah, was definitely, video. Definitely, definitely, yeah, you can you can definitely say that. I agree. Um, I think Kilulu. Uh, well, it had um, a, a similar, well, similar yet much deeper impact than Mama Kosa. Yeah, you know, equally as impactful, I would say. I, I think more. I believe that uh, yeah, people, yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. Because, but when you play Kilulu, there's something like when you play it, yeah. people I really just, like. I played it on Monday, I was in, in Rotterdam in Holland, and uh, yo, every, every every time I bring it, dun, 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 I bring the power. Like, hey, hey. Lord, <laughs> no, big tune, big tune. Yeah. Yeah, big, man, big tune. So yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, you know another highlights was me doing the Forbes magazine a freak four pages oh, yeah. PQ magazine yeah. Portugal. Congrats, congrats. Um, yeah, man, thanks a lot. Being awarded uh, one of the hundred most influential um, Africans around the world, you know, by the, um, the the I would say the the people that truly work for. Uh, expanding, you know, the visibility for, for what we're doing as a diaspora, and uh, and yeah, it, it feels good. Even though you know, we we may we may be invited in some places where we we are we are we are we are offered a a a, a um, an opportunity to watch and see people being mm -hmm. uh, awarded. We still get recognized in other. Um, uh, aspects in, in 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 more often than not outside of our of of the direct um um uh, reach of our industry which is interesting so you know yeah good vibes overall man good good vibes bucky good vibes in 2023 julie julie is saying she's coming in your house Julie says what? Okay, say, she's, you know, com she's coming to, to see you in Portugal, to sleep in your house. Ah, no, I don't think Julie says that. She's having a uh, new surgery on her face. So she's going to do nose and cheeks. Yo. Mother mercy. Take it easy, mama. Don't yeah. end up like Michael Jackson. Some people, they start getting like obsessed with surgeries. When they yeah, start yeah. doing a bunch of them. Yeah, you want to be careful with that. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, are you Haitian? Nope, I'm not. I'm, even if I've been, uh, I've been invited by the president a few times. Uh, I'm from Congo. But because of that little gu guyad uh, extended a lot of people. Bomba guy, bomba guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But does it count if I had sex with some Haitians? Does it? Oh, you the, fuck those up, my... man. That's the type of shit that would, that would, that would piss people off. 
<laughs> no, you gotta be provoking people for nothing. And then, yeah, I'm so sorry, I'm joking. Yo, man, yo, I'm joking. It's a great yo, country. I started, I started a, lot of, a lot of crisis on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. If <laughs> if you if you've been with enough of a, of a, of a, of a, of a certain nationality, you start speaking their language, and then you. You know, you, you, you do okay. speak. Uh, you do speak a uh, Creole. Huh? Well, I lost all my Creoles. I understand when people talk, but it's true that um, I lost a little bit. Well, it's like riding a bike, right? You, you get back into it the moment. Oh yeah, yeah. Listen, you put me in. in the yeah, yeah. Put me inside of the in, inside of. Put me in Martinique, Guadeloupe, Guyane, or Haiti, and oh, for for a month, and all my Creoles. We'll come back firing. Dude, Easy. The contour of my eyes look, look dark, man. This is how tired I am. <laughs> yeah, man, question. they look dark. Is it you or is it let me let me put this let me lighten you up because damn. It's it looks like uh, I put some makeup on. Well, you know. I, I, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you know. Well, listen, uh me personally uh for me something going on stupid but okay <laughs> yeah for sure for sure for sure no je l'ai dit sur le bête vraiment on a sonné de monétiser le jour le show en même temps non merde Uh, yeah, so something sure. going on uh, exploding on even if it started exploding last year It's really this year that it just uh, became a worldwide trending topic a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So this really, um, interestingly, uh, yeah, uh, did a lot for my the rest of my catalog, for the YouTube channel, for everything. So it's this is my third or fourth track trending on TikTok. But most of my track were trending locally. This one is really trending worldwide. And uh, yeah. every time there's a creator that does something, I look at the number of followers. It's like 10 million people. And I'm, I was like, yo, that's a lot of people. Um, what else? Um, in 2022, uh, I don't even know. I reached 250 episodes of Club Shadow. That was important for me. My next milestone is 300 episodes. Um, uh, I, I believe that in 2022, I was really working. I was just working hard on my catalog, working and creating stuff. I think one of the highlights was the... Started the year with the NFT collections the two NFT collections selling out and selling selling a hundred thousand dollars worth of NFTs. Actually, I checked. The volume is already at 200,000. Wow. So, yeah, that was that to me was was crazy. And then the rest of the year I was really working. Uh, I believe that for me, everything that was uh, I would say uh, was not was outside of, of me. So, of course, the war in Ukraine was something that really was a uh, something that changed uh, the dynamics of the the, the world um, Harry and Megan your friends who your friends from from the monarchy of course uh, if I was if I was part of the of the of the uh, of the royal family I, I honestly would have taken I would no, I don't care what media have to say. I would take serious measures against this boy. He's he's being silly and this woman is making him look at, like a little pum pum. I'm sorry. I don't care if he's they have kids, whatever to like at this point, bro, like you turning like yo, 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 you playing into that 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 there's just yo, you cannot yeah, I'm sorry, man. And and yes, I have not watched the documentary. I am not going to be adding um, my views to that. No, nah, I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm not like a pro monarchy type stuff, whatever. But like, yo, there's a level. Like, that, they, they, I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I think, I think it was the year of the victims. 
if that it, it, really just this year <laughs> no but you, this year is like it's the, the paroxysm and i think people are starting to be a little it's starting to really create a divide where some people are like okay enough because if you say you're a victim of anything all of a sudden yeah you got movies podcasts this that so a lot of people are just monetizing this and i mean listen they're doing their hustle they but you have to understand that at a point if you have nothing else to propose to people because if you look at them i mean i don't know them but all i've been hearing about them the last two two years is this oh the freedom uh, we finally free uh we left da, 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 and now they're, they're just milking this milking and at the point i'm like okay what knows. else so so what are you going to do as, well, as there's nothing more to prince make. harry what 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 do you have to say that is interesting or maybe if or and 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 his wife is an actress what else like okay okay we understand you left you didn't like it okay what what now and we see that it seems like there's nothing else because all they do is talk about this and mm. people are starting to see that okay well so you know I believe that in the all the people who viewed it, there's a lot of people who viewed it by curiosity or to hate on it. So I, I mean, I, listen, I, I don't hate men, but I'm no, and I'm probably not informed. Maybe maybe I'm making a very an informed uh, well decision upon the matter, but I already made up my mind about that woman. The moment I started seeing all the couple of nonsense, and the moment I sense that you're manipulative. Yeah. I'm sorry. Nothing you're gonna say is gonna work for me anymore because that's it. Like you've you've showed me that you are very toxic, and you're surfing off of a wave that you try to keep riding. Um, yes, yeah. I'm a victim of racism. This you just realize that you're black as of like yesterday. Oh well, not that you probably didn't know of that, but anyways, it doesn't matter. It is all subjective. It's all opinions. But like yeah. all this, like trying to trying to surf off of certain hypes. I'm sorry. You know, it's just that's that's, uh, that's people for you. I'm good, man. You know. But there, there were a lot of. Ah, I think another part of the on that conversation. Uh, let me see. Let me just look at the comment. The success you have on TikTok is so amazing. Do you earn money when they use your song on the platform? I'm not sure. Probably some publishing money, but uh, most of the money that is made is uh, indirectly when people go to Spotify and YouTube to listen to the songs in full. And there's a lot of people who do it. So, but if I listen. If I made money from the 1.3 billion views, oh shit, that would be cool. Okay, you had the Tory Lanes and and Megan The Stallion. Mm-hmm. Well, what a there's, three there's idiots, a lot three. of scandals, man. There's yeah, a yeah. Slap. There's a, there's Will Smith and slap. Oh yeah, <laughs> Will Smith and the slap. A lot of mercy. That was crazy as well mm. that was yeah. that made people talk and he just came back actually uh yeah it was a movie with that new movie and uh but i don't know man you know much as i, I like was this as an actor i don't know he's just for me it's never gonna be the same anymore and i'm sorry i i just think for me you know uh jed and i don't know that woman uh, I've I've watched the show. We spoke about it before, but I'm like, ah, bro, yo, yo, yo this he, guy, man, he's he's endured. I mean, hey, you don't know what happens in people's intimacy. None of our business, but ah. I'm to me, it was. It's not really the okay. Me, I have a good attention span. To me, the problem is not really um, the fact that. It's the slap, whatever. To me, it's just when we talk about somebody way too much. After a point, I'm just just tired of you. You see what yeah. I mean? And I 100%. guess they just really, I heard about him way too much. And I'm yeah. a little bit well, you did like, a couple of shows about him, and him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Listen, everybody milk the subject, which is what people do. Well, I think the but, latest one is Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god oh. i forgot about this yeah, that one idiot yeah, yeah this one too was 
This one was too was. Oh my god, that one was something else. This one won the won the pompon. No, if I, these if guys, I can they, say. Oh god. That he made, the, the, the new collection that he just drops. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm. Listen, I'm done with Ye. Hmm. I so I'm so sad for Will. He didn't have any dramas in his career, and this happened. That's true. And listen, the, we are in a in a in a time now where people just don't give you a chance. AMC and GameStop. That was last year, right? It was last year. Or That's, that was the yeah, year was of uh, what was the name of that 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 app? Revol uh, no, not Revolut. The other one, no, no, no. Robin Hood. Um, that was the no. year of Robin Hood. Yeah, even that, even Robin that Hood, that uh, yeah. that app just got it kind of disappeared. Yeah, I mean, whoever was there when it was the right time made their money. Ah, uh, listen, That's for sure. Crypto. That was also the year where crypto fell off. That's the thing, man. That was the year that crypto said bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, what what also happened this year is what is interesting. As you can see, for example, like even in the political realm in Africa, you can see there was uh, during the sixty fourth um, council at the UN uh, World Council, whatever you call it where they, all the um, heads of states come, come together, uh, there was some serious, serious, serious inter interventions from uh, the, the prime minister mm. of, uh, of Mali, who literally took some shots. serious shots at France. And, uh, oh, Malcolm Beats, what did he do? And um, uh, Ivory Coast, etc. And I think he, he did a great job and it was extremely well articulated and uh, as much as everybody's trying to play their, 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 their part in their very own propagandas mm. there's a sense that um, Mali, um, Burkina Faso, uh, Guinea, Conakry, uh, those countries are trying to push forward a completely different agenda and uh, well let's hope that you know they 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 don't fall for another master, but most definitely um, it is disruptive. Uh, we can see now DRC openly now, you know, mm. more and more people start criticizing yeah. Rwanda uh, for, the, mm -hmm. for the actual crisis in the eastern part of DRC. I mean, look, there's a lot of change, lot of changes, man. And I think that, it, well, if we look back at our conversations, I think that's one of the most dominant elements of the conversations we've been having this year. It's like a lot of politics and geopolitics involved in what we're focusing our attention upon. And I think that we're seeing the dawn of a, of a, of a new world indeed. It might not be yeah. exactly what, you know, some may think it, it could is. potentially be or whatnot, but yeah. There's a lot of things that um, there's a lot of play. countries that are that are leaving the the that are against now the idea and I think the idea is just you know empires rise and fall right and I believe Absolutely. that there's a lot of countries that are now starting to to be done with the idea and and, and actively wanting to get away from the Occident led by the U.S. being the the rulers and police of the world. A lot of people are now saying, "Yeah, listen, why do we have to pay everything in dollars mm -hmm. when when the American bully everybody using that?" And mm -hmm. and and why why if you take the population of the world, which is more or less 8 billion people. If you take the US plus Europe, that's 800 million people. So there's 7.2 billion people who don't get to decide who's good, who's bad, uh, which societal, you know, like some, the, the, and uh, you could see with the Qatar. They all went to Qatar 
and then they all went there to say oh this is bad you should do this you should be like this you are ah, and listen yeah some some things i'm not saying i agree with the way they live there but i don't go there to to give lessons to to other people i don't and even think it's a so, matter of agreeing or not agreeing man it's just you know like it's yeah it's not country, your country they run it the way they want to run it yeah 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 but but the, the, i think for the last since the end of the world war and maybe since maybe before when they had colonies mm -hmm. there's a, a group of countries the g the g7 or the and the yeah the g7 uh who want to run and i have been running the world who have been running uh the economies running the deciding the price of 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 materials deciding this and that deciding what is right what is wrong who's wrong who's right who's a terrorist who's a resistant etc cetera, etc cetera. and yeah. Yeah. a lot of people are starting to say wait wait a minute you guys represent eight six seven percent of the people in the world why do you take all the decisions and their reply was always because we know better Because we are more advanced than you. Because we are this. Because we are that. And people are starting to be like, nah, nigga, <laughs> yo. So uh, that's what you we're seeing nuts. now. And yeah, people are are leaving the the dollar. People are starting to want to 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 sell and and buy commodities in their own money. And there's a lot of uh, I would say empires, but there's a lot of blocks that are you know like the mm -hmm. Turkish want to mm -hmm. have their own leadership in their region the chinese want to have like russia want to the BRICS. you have like all these groups that are saying wait a minute so why all these people always come and whatever they do is for freedom and when we do the same thing we are uh, aggressors so but do you think that uh, geopolitically talking even though turkey definitely has a, a strong um turkey uh, capacity of influence geopolitically worldwide um i, I don't believe to russia and, and china i, think I don't actually, believe you notice they've been they've been they, you know yeah. you know what i believe i don't believe about i don't believe that we are about to be in the world of unilateral power and uni, unilateral um influence i believe mm -hmm. there's going to be multiple blocks And I don't believe well, Turkey is trying to reign worldwide. I think Turkey is just trying to have a sphere region, of influence yeah. where it is in that area, in that region, the 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 yeah, end of Europe, the beginning of 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 of, uh, of Asia. And China is the same thing. They want to be like around China, Southeast Asia, that have influence there. And the Russians, yeah, with their all, they want to have inf listen. Their, their territory is huge already, so they're just trying to have influence where they are and same thing for and listen africa is going to wake up one day and gonna be like so no, wait we we, we want to start okay, like okay, and africa, even africa excuse know. me and even africa it might not be one country having influence on the whole continent it might just be four different blocks the people from the west the people from the east the central and everybody having their own influences and yeah buying creating their own cars creating their phones having their own internet infrastructure starting to you know i think we are going to a place of multi-blocks i believe i i mean i believe that's what the leaders are trying to do and i believe that's what the the europeans and the americans are trying to avoid at all costs but Of course. I believe that they will not have a choice at a point you can't go like this and it, it takes a lot of money to, to do it. It's not going to work forever. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Europeans are also trying to be a little more independent from the Americans as well. When they think about it, like the Americans have been bullying them as well. And they they don't listen. They don't play a game. They don't play a game uh, that is fair with the Europeans as well. Like, I don't know if you remember when there was this scandal when the the French and the Belgium discovered that the, the, they were being spied on by the CIA and like, oh, you know, yeah, we're supposed to be allies, Ugh, bro. <laughs> so 
<laughs> I, I believe all the and I I also believe that even in Europe, the countries of the of the north are starting to be tired of lifting the countries from the south. The people are you know because I, I guess the problem with the euros is that they wanted to do the euros the same way as the, as they did the USD, but the USD is one country. The euro is 28 countries. Mm -hmm. And Eurozone, no? the, the countries that are rich are building the countries that are poor, like Portugal, like Italy, like all these countries. And maybe the Germans and the, the people in the north are starting to be like, yo, listen, uh, it's, it's becoming complicated. But hold on, Italy's so, in debt. Uh, I don't know if you can still call Italy a rich country huh? because they're very. No, they're, I'm, they're I'm saying the, the north. Debt, huh? I'm saying Italy the. I'm saying the. I'm, I'm uh, saying Netherlands. The Netherlands are tired of paying for Italy. I mean, no, That's what I'm no, it, it, I think France is more in debt than it ever was since. Oh yeah. Avicii or some 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 whatever time like that back in the. Bro, whichever century it was. They have too much territory that they don't want to give up. They want to keep it for geopolitical reasons, but mm -hmm. in a way it doesn't make sense, but it costs money and you don't have colonies that are bringing you free manpower and, uh, and materials like back in the days. So, mm -hmm. so this is what we are seeing now. There's, uh, everybody is trying to reposition themselves, I believe, and Russia, Russia, Ukraine was the first uh the first thing like and, and listen even in america when you have people in the streets right dying of cold in in your own house because there's no electricity by minus 55 degrees celsius and there's no money for welfare people are like starving and then you have a hundred billion to give to ukraine americans are starting to be like uh Wait a minute. All these money is going where? People are starting to ask questions. It's not like back in the days where when you ask questions, they could answer you what they want. Now, if you uh, you ask questions, you go on YouTube, somebody's going to have an answer for you. Mm 